In this video, we're going to cover the interface. So now we're onto this little mouse tab, or as one of the guys on my guild likes to call it, the Rolling Stones tab, because it looks like the Rolling Stones tongue to him, I guess. But, uh, so this is gonna be all your interface options within the client. Uh, you know, some of the ones that are in Classic are also here as well. So Pathfinding, which I can't stand, is right here. I'm gonna turn that off. Hold shift to enable pathfinding. I guess that makes it so if you hold shift and you right click, yeah, pathfinds. I don't, I'm not gonna use that at all. Always run if this is checked. I definitely will use that. That makes it so that you can't walk. You're just always running all the time, which I usually use no matter what, unless I'm a stealther. Block one, block run while hidden is nice because if you're hidden, uh, if you if you're trying to move and uh, your characters, your, you know, your mouse is too far away from your character to where it would run by accident, that'll actually block you from doing so. So it prevents you from running while you're hidden. So if you're stealther, for example, this makes sure, this ensures that you're going to walk the next time you move if you're stealth or if you're hiding. Clear the way modifier just makes it so that whatever your key press is, if something's blocking your path, like something that you can pick up, like say bag balls or boxes or whatever, that's blocking your path when you're trying to like get through somewhere, having this box checked will make it so that whatever key press modifier you're using, it'll pick that item up and move it for you so that it'll clear it out of the way. And then if you have this checked, it'll just drop those items in your backpack. Auto open doors is essential if you ask me. Uh, it makes it so that as soon as you run into a door, it just opens up for you. You don't even have to worry about it. And then I usually use smooth open doors because I guess it just makes it a little bit of a smoother process. Uh, double click for open doors is self-explanatory. Uh, this just makes it so that you don't actually have to double click on the door when you approach it. You can just double click your mouse and it'll open the door for you. Fast rotation speed, disable auto walking. Auto walking is like if you're moving and then you're holding right click and you click left click, you can actually let your mouse buttons go but your character will keep moving. I like it. Uh, if you don't like that feature, you can disable that right here. Fast rotation speed just makes it so that when you actually spin really fast, if you go into your assistant and you have fast rotation checked right here, it gets much faster. So you can change directions much, much faster that way, faster than you normally would be able to. It makes very, very small differences, but it does make a difference. Block walking on multi-stairs in war mode makes it so that if you're in an area where there's player houses and you're in war mode, you cannot walk on house stairs in war mode. So if you're running around a house, for example, like I really don't have any here because I'm in town, but if you're running, if you're trying to run into a house and like, or trying to run around a house, I mean, and you're in war mode, it'll just outright block you from walking on these stairs. So you won't get like that scenario where your kind of character just kind of like jumps because like it can't go onto like the house because it's private or you're just flee so you can't like you're aggroed so you can't walk into a house and it like makes you jump it's hard to explain but it, it, you, you guys know what i'm talking about it makes your character kind of jump this just blocks you from doing that so instead of jumping on the stairs and get, kind of getting stuck you'll just outright just run right around them so that's really useful but it can get you killed. You just got to remember, you it won't let you walk in a house if you're in war mode. So make sure you remember that. Uh, hold tab key for combat instead of toggle. That's self-explanatory. Gray out of range makes it so that if your screen is enlarged, like if I pull this out and I make it bigger, any objects that are off screen that I can't actually see are grayed out. So you see like right here, see this boar? He just disappeared. That's because he's in an area where I can't actually see. So that area is grayed out because it's out of my line of sight. Hold shift for context menus. I'm really not sure what this does. I messed with it. I really can't figure it out. But object handles is like your control shift, all your bubbles like that come up like that. What's nice is you can actually make it so that it only shows certain, certain ones when you control shift. That can be handy when there's a lot of stuff on the screen and you just want to cut out all the noise. You can check this box to make it so object handles just display all the time. You can show hit points on object handles, which I'm really not sure if that works. I haven't tried it before. 
This is where I was talking about in the last video with the tooltips, whether or not you want it to follow your mouse or be at this icon. Backpack style makes it so that your backpack just appears different on your paper doll, but it doesn't actually do anything. It'll just change its appearance. Gridded container gumps. This is a great, this is a great feature. So uh, a lot of people that use Enhanced Client rave about how, you know, you don't have to search through your pack for things. Everything is in a grid. So this gives you really essentially the best of both worlds. Um, if you check this box, I'll usually leave backpack unchecked. So it leaves my backpack the way it is. But then you can click apply here and you'll notice this little waffle pattern pops up. If I click this, I can switch back and forth between a gridded container gump and then everything does just like it is in EC. And it's, I mean, this is really handy for if you're trying to find things in your pack and you can't find it, you can just switch to the gridded container gump. Or even better, if you click this little blue button here, you can type in specific things. So if I wanted to just find one item in particular, I could search it. Or if I wanted to find a property for like an item in my pack, I could search for like mana regen and it would only find stuff in my pack with mana regen in it. So that's a super useful feature. Um, don't fix item positions and containers. I guess that just makes it so that when you move items around, like they have a fixed position. I really don't mess with that. But large container gumps, or double click the loot from corpses makes it so that when you open a corpse and you double click something in the corpse, it'll move it to your pack for you. So you don't have to drag and drop it. And then large container gumps, uh, usually in, in the classic client, I think this is in a different category other than in here, but in classic or in, in Orion classic, this is where it's located. So you'll find it here. That's essential for a lot of people. I definitely like to use this too. So like for your bank box or for uh, certain containers like chests and whatnot that have like the large gump feature, this will give you much more space within your containers if you're not using the gridded container to actually place items and keep them all organized.